You may have noticed that some of the designs we are producing are desktop models console style and uh, the enclosures made for these are actually consisting of six pieces of uh, sheet aluminum with uh, some uh, milled holes and cavities etc. And in order to make all this aluminum fit to the precision of a tenth of a millimeter, we have a spreadsheet calculating all the necessary coordinates and sizes of the elements of these um, on, on these different sheets. I would like to demonstrate how we do that. So uh, first, it, to make sure you absolutely know what I'm talking about, we are looking at something like a uh, C30. So. Um, the parameters that we are about to adjust is basically what, what is the uh, width of the front, what is the height of the front, and how, how tall can it be on the back, and how tall on the front. And then finally, we also need to pay attention to whether or not there's enough uh, clearance inside for all the components you want to put. So these are the, the basic things that we input into the calculation. So in order to do this, we'll go to the uh, Scorehigh Open Engineering repository on GitHub and uh, download the uh, front design files for these enclosures. Front design is an application made by Schaefer AG, which is a German company. They have uh, subsidiaries in the United States as well. So they deliver all over the world. And basically you just send a file off to them. They will mail it for you. And in something like 14 days, you have your enclosure back um, from them. Now at Scorehigh Open Engineering, you could go to Composite Designs, find the C31 pocket controller and go to the enclosure folder. And this is usually where we keep all the front design files uh, front uh, design files are, uh, have an extension like this, and here you can see the back side button, blah, 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 blah. Uh, you also see the, uh, the spreadsheet we're using to, to calculating uh, these, these files. It actually turns out that I already downloaded this stuff previously, so I have the, um, the whole Scorehigh Open Engineering repository right here, and I can then go directly to a C30 pocket controller open this enclosure right here. Let's, let's open this folder so we can see it. I'm going to open this spreadsheet and inside you find those four parameters I was talking about right here. So the width of the top plate is what I referred to from the website. Let's just quickly go and look at the C30. The width of the top plate is this dimension and the height is this dimension, width and the height. And then we have the back side and the front side height. So this is 60 millimeters and 40 millimeters. So uh, I could draw it here. This is the, um, the height of the back side and the height of the front side. And these are the measures for a C30. So let's change that, say, okay. We want something 200 millimeters wide. Uh, we want it um, to be 100 high. We want the, the back side to be 55 and then the front side to be 50. So it has a not very high angle because what you also see here is that now the outer dimensions uh, are calculated for you. The total width are gonna be 205 millimeters and the reason for this is that the, um, the, the width we punch in up here is the visible part. So basically everything you see in blue and then to that comes the two and a half millimeter thickness of the sides in aluminum right here. Uh, you could adjust that over here if you like. You could choose let's say three millimeter and you'll see that this number is now changing. But I suggest that you keep it with these numbers we have def defined over here, uh, if you can. So um, don't stray too far away from, from, from that. You have the, the total height of the unit um, with the, the, the profiles, because again, if you look at the height of the top plate, the visible part, and it tells you that in addition to that comes the uh, 16 millimeter profiles. And those profiles are basically what you see uh, right here, those aluminum profiles that are keeping 
this plate and this plate together is um, it has a width of 16 millimeters right there and um, this is what is added to the visible area you see here so when it grows to 132 it's because we have added these two profiles you can also uh, monitor the angle and this is basically defined by the height of the back and the front so let's say we want a higher angle we could go to 45 millimeters and you see now we have a four degree angle more or less assuming that you have some electronics you want to put inside you can also have this spreadsheet tell you how much clearance width do you have at some point for instance when we calculated that we wanted to have a t-bar here we uh, we knew that the t-bar had a profile looking more or less like it goes down it has you know it looks more or less like this inside the box and we wanted the box to be as uh, as shallow as possible in this uh, dimension so we needed to know exactly how much how much do we need at this particular location so the spreadsheet uh, what you do is that you you know where you want the t-bar so you know the distance from this this edge and then to the point where you know that the lowest point will be and in um, in the case of of this it's probably uh, 70 because 70 is the the number you can see we're using here so um um, again, let's say that we know that this distance is 70 millimeters. The spreadsheet is going to tell us that this distance is, was it around 40 millimeters? Let's see what the, what the spreadsheet said, 41 millimeters. Okay, and then, um, yeah, these things you don't have to worry much about. Let's, let me show you how you actually use this. So we have a top plate and the top plate is the one on top here. So from my list of files, I open the top plate. And if it's the first time you open front design, then you accept the license, of course, and you get the top plate up like this. Now, this is where you see the dimensions of the top plate. It tells us that the height is 87.80. Uh, is, uh, and uh, then 130. Uh, 37 millimeters in the width. Okay, so these numbers should actually correspond to what was originally in this spreadsheet. But now since we are modifying, we are creating a new enclosure with a new width and height, we need to go by these numbers. Um, it might be helpful to, um, to show these side by side if you have enough uh, space on your screen. But basically we are now gonna put this number in here. I think that was it. And then 202 for the width, 202, and the thickness is four millimeters. Okay, so now what happened? Um, let's zoom out a little bit, okay, like that. So now we can see the new dimensions. Basically what we need to do now is to adjust the position of this cavity and this cavity, uh, which are both on the reverse side of the board. So, uh, but this is the next thing that it will tell us. Uh, so when it says cavity X top and bottom, you sort of need to know what this cavity is about. And uh, this is a cavity necessary because this plate is four millimeters thick and the, the angled profiles, um, those aluminum profiles right there, they allow an aluminum plate, which is, is it, I think, uh, one and a half millimeter thick to enter into a, um, a cavity in that profile. So you need these cavities to make it fit. And uh, what the spreadsheet said is that the x dimension of both the top and bottom cavity has to be 101. But all this is assuming that the origo or the origin of the coordinate system is in the default position lower left. Is that the case? Well, almost. This is the origo, and I'm now now going to change that to the absolute coordinate 0, 0.0. So now the origin of the coordinate system is right there. I'm then going to select both the top and the bottom and I'm setting the x uh, coordinate to 101, which I think was what the spreadsheet told me to. Yes, thank you. So they are now uh, centered in this direction and then uh, the cavity in the bottom has a y value of 1.25. 1 uh, 1.25, that was not changed by the new dimensions and uh, 110, 55, so we are now selecting this one, uh, 110, 
0.55. So that's now in position. Then the next one, uh, the cavity for the housing profile, the, yeah, okay, that's the same cavity uh, they are talking about. Um, the height should be 3.5. Is it 3.5? And that's both the top and the bottom. Yes, it's 3.5. The width, what about that? It's, it's supposed to be 205 and it's only 140. So we type in 205 and now you see that it extends to a little more than the width of the whole plate. And then finally, what do we have left? We must make sure that the cavity depth is 2.5 millimeters, which matches what I just said, namely that we need 1.5 millimeters for the profile. So having a, um, the, the plate being four, four millimeters thick, we then have um, 1.5 left when we take away 2.5 millimeters. So actually, this is now, um, this is now all I, I need to do for the, for the top part. And I could go on to the other six um, sides of this box. So the, the things that you see right here is basically holes, it's uh, engravings, it's cavities for bolts and bushes, uh, for whatever electronics that I want to put inside. And this is entirely up to you what you want to put there. This uh, spreadsheet and video is just about how to create the, the basic plates that uh, put together will create this nice enclosure for you. <laughs>